Hello everyone, my name is Ira Cloud and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do this brown gorgeous evening makeup look. So if you're interested how to do that, then keep on watching. Alright guys, and first I'm starting off with my eyebrows and uh, before I apply my brow products I'm using NYX Angel Veal Skin Perfecting Primer. So first I'm going to apply it on my forehead and around my eyebrows. I'm starting off with my favorite eyebrow product Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. And I'm going to apply this product using my NYX Angled Brush number 18. And first I'm going to use the spoolie to brush all my hairs up and doing my eyebrows as usually. First I'm going to draw the line under the brow, then uh, on the top of the brow and then I'm going to fill it in and fill in the inner corner of the brow. And of course I have to use the spoolie to brush my hairs up and down to blend the product and doing the other brow. Now I'm going to use my favorite concealer. This is Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige. And I'm using this concealer to carve up my eyebrows. And that's why we applied the makeup primer, because we are going to carve up our eyebrows. So now I have to blend it using my fingertips. And doing the same thing on the other eyebrow. All right, and now I'm going to use my favorite brow gel. This is Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Blonde Sculpting Brow Mascara. First, I'm applying the brow gel on the center of the brow and on the outer corner. And I'm using less product on the inner corner. I'm doing the same thing on the other eyebrow. Okay, brows are done and time to do the eye makeup. And first I'm going to use a scotch tape to make my eye shape very sharp and clean. I'm going to continue my lower eyelid crease. So first I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply it on the upper and on the lower eyelid. First I'm going to start off with the transition shade and today I'm using Romantic Bird Makeup Palette V Face and I'm taking very light and soft beige shade called In the Nude and using tapping motions I'm going to apply it in the crease. And using the same shade and big blending brush I'm going to blend this shade using soft circular motions without any pressure on the eyelids. And then I'm taking the deeper shade called Taupe de Taupe and also I'm applying it in the crease using tapping motions and blending it using Taupe de Taupe and in the nude two previous shades using big blending brush. I'm applying these two shades right here, Icon and Marshmallow under my eyebrow on my brown bone to control my blending and to lighten the brow bone. And taking the darkest shade of this palette, dark brown shade called Deep Soul and I'm going to apply it in the crease. I'm applying it very close to my actual crease using tapping motions. I'm taking small blending brush and taking the same color and blending it without any pressure and taking the big blending brush and blending it once again without any eyeshadow on it. Alright, time to do the cut crease and I'm using the same eyeshadow base that I used before. This is MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pad and I'm using flat brush. I'm dragging the cut crease very high to make my eyes look bigger and to hide my actual crease because I have hooded eyes. Time to fill the eye 
eyelid and with eyeshadow base. I'm going to apply the shimmer brown color. I'm using the Maybelline The Nudes eyeshadow palette, the first The Nudes palette. And using flat brush, I'm going to apply this shade on the cut crease using tapping motions. As you can see, we have a little bit fallout and uh, that's why I'm doing my eye makeup first and then I'm going to do the rest of the makeup. So now I'm going to apply once again this eyeshadow using my fingertips for more pigmentation. I'm going to apply two previous shades that I applied under the brow. This is Icon and Marshmallow on the inner corner. And I applied a little bit of peach piece to make my inner corner more warm. I'm going to apply this pencil. This is MAC Black Pencil in the shade Engraved. And I'm going to apply it on the upper waterline and on the lower waterline I'm going to apply the brown eye pencil. This is Lumine, the shade 10 and I'm dragging it a little bit down on the lower lash line. Now I'm taking the same The Nudes eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and I'm going to take angled brush to smoke out the pencil. I am going to take matte dark brown shade called Deep Soul and I'm going to darken and deepen the outer corner all right guys time for the eyeliner and i'm going to use my favorite liquid eyeliner this is essence liquid ink waterproof eyeliner and today i'm going to do very big wing And also, I'm going to extend the inner corner of the eye. All right, I have done my wing and as you can see, it breaks a little bit because I have hooded eyes. You have to smoke out your eyeliner on the outer corner. So I'm taking my favorite eyeshadow palette. This is Maybelline The Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm taking this black color and I am tapping the shade and also I'm deepening the outer corner of the eye. I'm hiding my wing. Make sure you use tapping motions and then I'm taking small blending brush and dark brown eyeshadow called Deep Soul. I'm going to smoke the outer corner and I'm going to drag this black eyeshadow with brown eyeshadow in the crease to hide this harsh edge of the cut crease. You using circular motions without any pressure on the brush. And then I'm taking two previous colors in the nude and taupe ditto to smoke out the outer corner without any pressure on the brush. Also, I'm taking big blending brush without any eyeshadow on it and blending the crease. And now I am adding some more of dark eyeshadow to hide the wing more. I'm going to do the lower lash line. To do my lower lash line, I'm going to take the same color, dark brown color called Deep Soul on the same brush. I'm going to smoke out brown eye pencil and using small blending brush to blend a little bit this shade. And I'm taking once again black eyeshadow and taking it a little bit on the outer corner of the lower lash line, but not taking it too far. Now I'm going to take off the scotch tape. Also, I have to clean my face because I have fallout. That's why when you work with a dark eyeshadow, you have to do your eye look first and then do your face makeup. All right, guys, time to do the face makeup. And now I'm going to prime the rest of my face. As you remember, I prime my forehead and I'm using my favorite primer. This is NYX Angel Veal Skin Perfecting Primer. And now I'm going to color correct. I'm going to use my favorite color corrector palette. This is Catrice Cosmetics All Round Concealer Palette. And first I'm going to take the red corrector and I'm going to apply it under my eyes because I have blueness under my eyes. Red color corrector we're using to hide the blueness 
under the eyes or small veins for example I have here I'm blending my color corrector using my fingertip instead of beauty blender because my fingertips will warm the product and the product will blend easily and nicely and now I'm taking the green corrector and I'm going to correct the redness Now I'm going to blend it using my fingertips. And now I'm going to mix these three beige shades right here to create my own perfect color for my skin. And I'm going to apply it on the places where I color correct. And I'm going to blend it once again using my fingertips. All right, time for the foundation. And I'm using my all-time favorite foundation. This is L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hours Matte Cover. This is matte and full coverage. Because I have very oily skin, this foundation is perfect for my skin. And I didn't found any foundation better than this. This is in the shade 110 Rose Vanilla. And I'm going to apply it on the one part of my face because it's mattifying very quickly so I have to blend it very quickly using damp beauty blender and now on the forehead and a little bit once again on the nose and here to hide the appearance of the pores. All right, time for the concealer. And I'm using my favorite concealer, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 1 Light to cover up my blemishes and pimples. I'm using the Max Factor Pan Stick in the shade 12 True Beige to hide your blemishes or your pimple. Don't blend the concealer directly on the pimple but blend it around the pimple to leave the maximum pigmentation directly on the pimple. And now I'm going to blend the under eye area. Time to bake the under eye area and I'm using my favorite powder. This is Bourjois Paris Silk Edition Touch Up Transparent Universal Powder and I'm going to apply this powder all over my face. Time for the contouring. I'm going to take my favorite sculpting powder. This is in Glad in the shade 510 and I'm going to contour my face. I'm contouring my forehead, my nose, my chin, cheeks, and under my bottom lip. Now I'm going to take my favorite blush. This is Bourjois Paris in the shade 54 Frosted Rose. And I'm going to apply this blush on my cheeks, on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on the chin. And then I'm going to apply the bronzer in the shade Medium Warm. This is Maybelline City Bronzer. And I'm going to apply it on the same part of my face where I contoured. And now it's time for the highlighter. Before I apply my highlighter, I'm going to use the setting spray. This is MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray with powder inside. After the setting spray, I'm going to apply the MAC highlighter. This is C18 Soft and Gentle. If you have a setting spray with powder in it, you have to apply first your mattifying setting spray and before it dries out, you have to apply your highlighter to if you want the astronauts to, to see your glow <laughs> you have to apply your highlighter immediately after you applied your setting spray also you have to apply your setting spray before you apply your lashes because it will make your eyelashes wet i'm going to powder a little bit here because my skin gets oily here and a little bit here. 
basically i'm tapping on the setting spray and the powder from the setting spray so now i'm going to smoke my lower lash line and i'm going to take taupe d taupe and small blending brush and blend the lower lash line and taking the deep soul shade to smoke out the lower lash line time for lashes and i'm going to use my favorite mascara this is if silver brand luxurious mascara for a false lash effect and first i'm going to apply the mascara on the lower lashes and then on the upper lashes i'm applying the mascara on my lashes up and down and now i'm going to take this pulley and brush my lashes to take off the excess mascara after you apply your mascara anyway your lashes will go a little bit down so using the eyelash curler you will curl them up all right time for fake lashes and i'm going to use fake lashes from aliexpress called scone heat after applying the false lashes make sure to stick your own eyelashes with your fake eyelashes using mascara i'm using once again the eyelash curler and i'm going to curl eyelashes don't forget to put your eyeliner on once again to hide this line from the eyelashes all right time for lips and before i do my lip makeup i'm going to use my mac prep and prime lip primer i'm going to line my lips using the nyx lip liner in the shade smll 58 girl by and i'm going to do very big lips hardcore overlining as usually and now I'm going to apply my favorite NYX Liquid Sweet Metallic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade LSCL35 Biker Babe. All right, guys, and that was Brown Smoky Eye Evening Makeup Tutorial. If you enjoyed watching this video, had fun with me, or found it useful, then give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in my next video. Bye!